Okay, hi Capricorn, this is going to be your first half of November reading. It's going to be really quick, it's going to be a you versus them pretty much, okay? Um, so let's get some, let's get what your energy is for the reading and then we're going to do your tarot. I feel like there is a constant thrive, like our constant uh, kind of like turn of events happening and it's just like that's what's feeding you, feeding your ambition, I'm getting, okay, cap, oh, that's too many spirit, can we get one for the energy, um, I feel like you don't want to expose your energy. Like, you're like, okay, you know, I don't need that right now. Okay. So, <clears throat> trust, 31, and divine guidance, 38. So, this is at the bottom of the deck. I am safe. I am secure. I, in love, I trust. My faith endures. So, I feel like you've kind of been missing out on like what it is that divine um that divine is to asking you of you right and this is kind of like you know because you've been like steering the wrong way it's kind of like okay well you know i'm gonna do this now hold on okay well it's kind of like this notion where you're like okay you know what it's time to ask the divine right this is why it, the, like the divine guidance for you was actually you know how can I say this like it's it's telling me where you were up to the point where you're like okay I don't need any I know what to do now you know it could have been where you had like a spiritual awakening or whatever and you, you just you thought that's for some of you you didn't need like anybody else's help including you know spirit but spirit's like no 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 honey like you asked for us you know and we're helping you in like it's kind of like you asked them subconsciously to step in before you got to this point and now your conscious mind is like the fuck <laughs> so that's what i'm getting so let's see what's going on and it could be with this relationship as well right yeah that's what I'm getting with this person kind of like to interfere and it doesn't have to be with everybody so let's see your cookie see what's going on so I'm gonna do you this is them real quick and then yeah so let's see. what is going on with uh, Capricorn for the beginning of November please spirit all right, so yeah, like I said, you kind of, <laughs> okay, so like this is being said to me, like you are kind of like having that like recovery, that objectivity, right? That nine of swords is coming in here, but you could have, you can actually like see where it's giving you some sort of anxiety thinking about this relationship, about this person, about the past. Um, what else okay yeah but you wanted something really stable with this person okay you wanted like you know happy happy wife happy life happy hubby lovey dovey do you get what i'm saying but it's just like it just it was too much for you to bear okay and here i see where There's also, like, a sense of, like, arrogance that happened. It could be, like, with you or with them. Or it could be, like, you, like, the communication was just, like, not there. So that's what started to become a barrier. Or, you know, those boundaries, yeah. Those boundaries were not set, pretty much. So, for them, yeah, they've taken a long time. And they're pretty slow moving, okay? This is, this is, um, uh, what is it called? Um... <laughs> This is earth energy, so you could be dealing with, um, you, I'm sorry, you could be dealing, um, 
you could be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, all right? <laughs> so, yeah, they took a long time, but they're coming back around, I feel, okay? Yeah, there could be, like, some sense of loss for them. It could be, like, is it too late for me? Um, even just to apologize, right? They want to come in, you know, if you don't want to take these people back. Or it could be, like, if you're with somebody right now, it could be a long, <laughs> it could have taken a long time. Yeah, so, um, no longer no longer are they conflicted right so there is like a resolution and a, they want a sense of like reunion right this is the five of swords and release it's also some source of like karma karma you, they could have been dealing with too so with the strength you could be dealing with a leo okay um and you could be dealing with the fire sad aries leo sag a fire sign or even um i'm getting here as well as a an air sign okay um gemini libra aquarius so here at the bottom of the deck is the king of swords so capricorn this is telling me where there's fairness intellect and strength and you know this is kind of like okay yeah at the bottom the wheel of fortune this is going to be really quick okay whether you're with this person or or in like in a relationship or like there's some sense of like because they want the reunion here we have the reunion card right uh, they want like to come back in but it's kind of like you know what you didn't see this aspect of them until like they had to leave you didn't see this side of them until like you guys actually spent time apart pretty much so let's get some romance oracles out here let's get a can i have a romance oracle for capricorn please capricorn yeah what's our time all right making really good time okay so capricorn for the beginning of november okay so healing family issues you could have a family with this person you could have like talked about it you guys could have had like the same kind of like wounds you know traumas ch childhood traumas your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and i feel like a lot of you are like breaking ties like ancestral kind of karma as well or this person could have like been dealing with the same ancestral karma kind of like along the lines that you are can we get um a love oracle a romance oracle please for capricorn's person if you hear my dogs playing outside i'm so sorry they're like they like to rough play they like make each other bleed sometimes okay all right so oh this is in the reverse okay so heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with each other so this came out in the reverse so <laughs> Okay, so this is this is telling me, um, Cap, where they might not think that you're going to give them a chance. Or if you guys are together, they might not think that, you know, their word brings value to this relationship, okay? I feel like you kind of want to get out of, like, um, being stuck in your head, okay? Even though you think you might not do it, remember, you, you thought in the beginning, like, oh, I don't need this or anything. Remember, this is just a general reading, okay? So you kind of want to get out of that. So let's see, what advice do we have for Cap for the beginning of November? <laughs> Don't fucking force it, okay? Allow that shit to come to you. I feel like that's why you kind of like got mad because things weren't going your way. And that's why you're like, I don't need divine. Or maybe you didn't need divine guidance or divine timing, right? As a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional. Like, I feel like this is, like, spirit telling you, like, you know, what? look at look at the signs, right? If you need guidance, like, we're there for you. Your, your spiritual guides are there for you as well. Spirit's telling you, remember, no, uh honey, like, you know, you asked for us. We're going to help you. And and it's kind of like, okay, so what advice do we have for cats person, the person that they're dealing with? Please, spirit. Too many. What advice do we have for Capricorn's person for the beginning 
of November. I feel like you guys could be in communication even though you guys aren't together. Those are for the people who are not together, right? So I'm going to take these two. Oh, snap. I feel like when you guys get into kind of like, a, like not really big arguments, but kind of like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to take my shit and leave. <laughs> I feel like somebody does that. So this could be orange. This could be kind of like the solar plexus chakra. Okay. And also this kind of color, it gives me like the third eye color. So, you know, it's kind of, you want to give spirit those that okay to get your spiritual downloads. Stop obsessing. So your person is obsessing over like wanting to come to you. You're not a fucking, you're not the fucking center of uh, the universe. Right. So it could be like this person, like again, that arrogance comes in. Right. And, um, Yeah, and it's kind of like that exploration. You wanted to take your relationship another step or you want to take your relationship another step and then this person is kind of like holding back because they're like, wait, wait, wait. I said to work on myself. Like, I can't catch up to you that quickly, Capricorn, whether you're with this person or not, okay? And then um, you are the best thing that has ever happened to you, okay? Uh, this person could have like a little bit of self-esteem issues. They could be like a little, have like anxiety, maybe a little bit of depression I'm feeling. Go easy on your ass buy your own damn drink so yeah this person i feel like they relied heavily on like uh outside forces outside energies however that resonates but yeah so uh cap that has been your quickie reading for you versus them okay don't forget to like comment and subscribe i will see you soon